Part of Warwick Castle's sensation invasion themed half term week, the prisoner in the cage was initially employed to repulse visitors through smell, but bosses at the castle have had to ask their latest star attraction to tone down his abuse. How you doing? I've been locked in here because apparently it is a crime to have a certain sort of fragrance about yourself. Putting a new meaning to the phrase the great unwashed, the prisoner in the cage has been repulsing people with his vicious tongue and breath this week. This half term we've got our sensation invasion, so that's an assault on all of your senses. So um, what you can touch, taste, feel, smell, um, and if you follow the trail around the castle to ensure you don't miss anything, um, you'll see some nice surprises. The prisoner in the cage, um, affectionately known as our smelly man, um, he's been banned from washing um, and he's been locked in the cage for a whole week. Um, so as you can imagine, he's getting a little bit twitchy. Um, and unfortunately, the, uh, the banter that he's meant to be uh, playing with the guests has got a little bit abusive. Um, so we've had to ask him to tone it down. We've had a few complaints from some of our guests this week who felt a little bit ill at ease or um, not taken the abuse quite in the spirit in which it was meant because the, the friendly banter has got a little bit carried away at times so we've had to ask him to tone it down a little. But wronged guests can have the last laugh. They are invited to throw rotten food at the stinky inmate, helping Warwick Castle bring the cheeky prisoner to justice. It's kissing time! <laughs> I dare you all to come down to Warwick Castle and put one right on my kisser. You can throw what you want at me. They say there's sponges, but you better not throw any bricks. Come down to Warwick Castle and see me. Cashier number four, please. <laughs>